Now, remember last year when you were told by clueless Claire O'Neill, that idiot immigration minister, Andrew Giles, and the Prime Minister, that we're going to cut the amount of overseas migration because they knew that Australians had had enough of an excessive amount of people, hundreds of thousands of people being brought into a country where, as we have told you this week, a bloke died because he was waiting for an ambulance, an ambulance that was called at 2 o'clock in the morning but didn't turn up at 6 o'clock in the morning, until 6 o'clock in the morning. That's the reality of the health system in Victoria. Hospital ramping is bad in every state, near record levels, regardless of how new or old the government is. There are huge problems in Australia that more people don't fix. It only fixes the federal budget bottom line, which means they're able to say the economy's amazing because we're, we're in front, gold star for us. Again, the people who actually pay the taxes are going backwards. The only way that the country is slowly putting forward is because of pay rises for public servants and how many more public servants they have been hiring. But, of course, because Labor politicians for a generation have told us that every kid has to go to uni, regardless of whether that's a uni course that you will actually be able to turn into a job or you just learn how to be a lefty. We have seen not enough people to have trade certificates, apprenticeships in this country, so we're told we have to bring in all of these extra people. There's not enough places to buy or rent in Australia today for everyone who was here two years ago let alone today, where we learn that the Australian population is now 27 million people. Now, the population growth is not because we are having bubbers, but because we are bussing them in every 10 minutes. Australia's population has officially surpassed 27 million. Overseas migration driving 83% of the population growth in the past year. Now, let me show you again some numbers which you have not seen in other places tonight. The total population is now 27,122,411 people. That is up 615,300 people in a year. Of those... 105,500 people are natural increase. So when you take away the number of people who die, add it with the number of people who are born, the natural increase in our population was just 100,000 people. Half a million people in the past 12 months, 509,800 people have come in from overseas. That's why we are at 27 million now. That's why... It is so hard to find a rental place. That's why when you ring triple O, the ambulance may not turn up because it's waiting in a hospital. And a bloke died this week as a result of this problem. Now, let me break this down state by state to make it very clear what is going on here and how this is a phenomena that is nationwide. In New South Wales... Their natural increase is, uh, is uh, 30,776, OK? So that is uh, uh, deaths minus births. That's the number of extra people that we have via natural means. In New South Wales, 168,148 people, mostly going to Western Sydney, have been dumped into our community to make the federal budget look good. New South Wales also saw, of all of the people who moved and all of the people who left the state, 31,183 people who left the state of New South Wales. But even then, there was still an increase in population because of that number of overseas migration. In Victoria... The natural increase is 31,682, 151,740 people come in via immigration. That's why there's a rental queue that goes around the block if you're trying to get a one better anywhere in Melbourne. 
Now, amazingly, of all the people who came and went, the grand increase to the population was 537. Nothing happening when it comes to Victoria. This is after they had a huge amount of people leave last year. The natural increase in the population, births versus deaths, 20,872. Four times higher was the amount that came in via immigration and 30,000 people from the rest of the country coming to Queensland. It is even starker in smaller states. The natural increase was about 3,000 in South Australia. The immigration was almost 10 times higher at 26,000 people as 1,600 people left the state. In Western Australia, the natural increase is 14,000. The immigration, four times higher at 64,902. That's why property prices in Perth keep going up. Now, to put this in even stronger language for people to understand, which is that the population of 27 million has dramatically increased by almost a million people exclusively that have come into the country since Albanese became Prime Minister. Now, I am not counting some of the numbers from 2022 because, of course, they took over uh, May, June, so about half of that year. So um, I, I could add it. But the 12 months to March of this year, 500,000 people. Before that, 454. Throw it all together. 964,200 people who weren't here two years ago. Now, again, you have a look at these numbers... This is your net migration of people who have come to the country in your state. 300,000 in New South Wales, almost that in Victoria, 150,000 in Queensland, 50,000 in South Australia, 117,000 people in Western Australia. The consequences of all of this stuff is the pressure that exists on services. Now, all of us know that the hospitals aren't up to scratch for 25 million people, let alone 27. We know the education system is not up to scratch for 25 million people, not 27 million people. This is the issue, the housing supply issues, that I now notice they're trying to blame the former government. Get your hand off it. You, on your watch, have brought in almost a million people, so you can puff up your own federal budget so you can go to an election and tell people the economy where they have been going backwards for 18 months is rosy because it's a Ponzi scheme. Now, again, this matters. Now, of course, this government says we're going to pull back. They didn't. They've already, at three-quarters of the way through the year, basically hit the number that they said was the reduced number for this year. For their part, the opposition, well, they're making the most of it. Because why, why wouldn't they? Why shouldn't they? The population is increasing predominantly because of immigration. You've had more than a million people come in and there is literally nowhere to put them. <clears throat> and the government's proposal, well, they'll own 40% of your house. Can you imagine your uh, monthly, six-monthly or yearly audits and inspections from the government for their 40%, <laughs> them directing your maintenance and what you've got to do and the kids have bashed the wall with something or throw on the Xbox and you have to fix it because the government want, wants their bit covered? Uh, this is Communism 101. We want people to be able to access their super funds to buy a home because it's their money. Do you see a trend emerging here? They spin you constantly about how amazing everything is. The tax cut's too little, too late. The power relief does not touch the sides of what has increased on their watch. The number of people that have come into the country making every other thing you have to queue for harder because they obsessively told a generation of kids it's dumb to pick up tools. But don't worry, we just open the gates. We just say more, more, more. Now, again, for anyone who wants to half-listen to this and pretend that this is some sort of a rant against people coming from certain parts of the world, I don't care. I've said every single time we talk about immigration, it's not about where people are from, what they look like, what language they speak, what food they eat, what God... All of that crap. 
It is about the pressure that already exists on our system. But because the bureaucrats do not see a single thing change for them, because the politicians do not see anything change for them, because it is to their advantage to keep adding and adding and adding to the queue while turning around and announcing Band-Aid solutions to roads that are buggered up or hospital systems that have failed. You want to do something serious to let Australia have a chance to breathe, you need to pause this number at this rate.